everybody, welcome back to Library of Ruina. Now, I just want to say something before we get started, before I even do my self-plugs. We did just do a Lobotomy Corporation stream, and I'm going to warn you, on our next episode of Lobotomy Corporation, we're going to be starting what I call Chapter 2, where we end up basically killing off our facility, kind of, I don't, I don't know, I, I, I think that's what's going to happen. Uh, but there's going to be some uh, pretty nice content in the next episode of Lobotomy Corporation that you do not want to miss. So if you are absolutely uh, ready to see me do my first reset of Lobotomy Corporation, uh, make sure you go down there, you hit the subscribe button, you hit the like button so they recommend you more of these videos, and you comment down below what abnormalities you're looking for to me uh, picking? Don't use their actual name though. Uh, if you can use the the uh, the the code that they use for the abnormalities. So uh, or, or like the uh, the text that the uh, the abno has attached to it. Uh, we did do a eight and a half hours eight and a half hour stream, and uh, we had an absolute blast. Now I'm also gonna say on this reset of uh, Lobotomy Corporation that is coming up. You hear this? This is a bag of dice that was gifted to me by X-Fire. This is an absolutely amazing set of dice. And uh, we're going to be rolling our abnormalities using a D4. Then the rules are as follow. 1 through 3 correspond to 1 through 3 from left to right on the screen. If we roll a 4, well, we re-roll. Now, this will change if there is an abnormality, we already know, that is on the screen. Uh, in which case, if it's not a high level, like, if it's not like a high risk level uh, abno, we will probably not be taking that abnormality, even if we land. So, in that case, it'll just become uh, a, uh, a second reroll tile. Now, that said, let's go ahead, get on into the gameplay. That's right, we got the, the right camera angle the first try. Now, on our previous episode of Library of Verona, I was reminded that there is actually a, um, a set of invitations that we can get from putting down just random fucking books. So, like, this is... Pretty sure this comes from Book of the Carnival and then Book of... Alright, so, uh, what we can do is we can put down Book of the Carnival and it'll get us a, uh, random invitation. Uh, but, uh, the way that we got this guy was from the Book of Gyeongmi. But we also have Zulu, who is in the same uh, band of people. So I'm going to put down Zulu's book and see what we get. Because uh, this is Vi Section 6 in Book of the Distortion. This is Book of Walter in Book of Isadora. And then this is Olga and, M and Molar Office. So uh, I'm going to see if we can get another uh, confrontation with these guys by putting in the book of Zulu and then putting in the book of Dino and then putting in both. That said, let's go ahead and send out the invitation. All right, we got an ordinary grade eight fixer. It's got some, uh, it's got some more stuff. Uh, standoff, maybe. Let's see. Nah, meh. They're all right. It, it's a kind of meh battle. It's only got one act, so let's go ahead. Just you know, take care of them. If anything, it's a nice little warm up. All right. But oof. All right. Let's see. You are targeting us with standoff. That is a one to six followed by a two to three. Honestly, I'm just gonna do um brawl. Yeah, brawl. <laughs> we got a pretty nice roll, too. And let's see, cut in, followed by a back attack. Uh, I'll do a, uh, I'll end you for the, um, oh, actually, no, the back attack's not that good. Uh, we'll take the daring decision. Because we do have a, uh, discard. Uh, we have a couple of cards we might not want. Yeah, I'll just do it. Just YOLO. Alright. And it'll also give us an extra bit of strength the next scene. Now that we have a 5 here, we can intercept this cut-in. And let's see. 
That cutting could be kind of painful to deal with like that. Uh, honestly, I'll do a daring decision again. Followed by a uh, overpower. No, actually, I can't. Go ahead. There we go. Only have one card for uh, the scene, and it's it it is perfect. We have the perfect card. We have a destructive impact, so we get more damage. So I'll go ahead, throw in that destructive impact right here, and let's see. I I will take the damage from the cut in, but don't trust the destruct. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I I'll go ahead and. Uh, d attack this cut in. I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll attack this cut in. I mean, it can't hurt. Okay, two people staggered. Fatal damage. 32 fucking damage. Oh, God, I love that. Uh, we'll take the scars. We'll just throw those on you. Stay calm. Draw a page upon discarding this page. And we gotta scratch that. Well, I can do a scratch that. Stay calm over here. And a gamble over here. Oh, well, look at that. And the battle has been finished. It's done for. Benito. Well, now I'll go ahead. Book of a Grade 8 Fixer. A Backstreet's Fixer Volume 3. Uh, I don't think we have that one. Let me check. Uh, how, I mean, kind of. Book of a Grade 8 Fixer. Eh? We'll go ahead and do a, uh, another general invitation. I'll pause it. Do a couple of general invitations. Excuse me, see what I'll get. Alright, so there wasn't really that much new in the uh, general invitations for this for the uh, previous chapter. Um, this is basically it right here, the Book of Axe Gang. I'm going to go ahead and burn it alongside a few of the books of the carnival. Just to see what we get. Alright. All right, let's see. Slash damage plus two, pierce damage minus one. Cool. Blunt stagger plus one. Okay. An allies died, gain two strength at the end of each scene. Okay. So that's a pretty nice ramp there. See? We'll make fine silk. We got this. This is, no, this is a kind of garbage card. I'm not gonna lie, it is a kind of garbage card. Beast, however, this is pretty nice. Uh, tailoring, this is a cool card. Uh, I'm excited to get tailoring. Uh, it's set up inside of a deck. And uh, there, there's, a, there's a few here that'll be interesting. But uh, we did get our first uh, four coster. But, uh, that, that said, let's go ahead and let's... Ah, not you. Explore and see what this is. Zwei South Section 6 and Book of the Distortion. Go ahead and send that invitation. Church of Gears leader? It reminds me of the Church of the Machine God from SCP. Along with a um, certain SCP-001 proposal. Oh, 
제 인생도요. 매일 아침 6시에 일어나 8시까지 직장에 가고 똑같은 표정으로 같은 일만 반복해요. 일이 끝나면 10시가 넘는 경우가 허다하고 제가 무슨 일을 하고 있는지 모르겠어요. 돈이 벌리는 것 같아도 달마다 빠져나가서 모이지도 않아요. 출근길, 퇴근길 모두 같은 표정이에요. 우리는 왜 일하고 돈을 버는지 어째서 살아가는지 목적을 잃은 것만 같아요. This kind of the, the way he's talking kind of reminds me of the uh, entry that we read in Lobotomy Corporation for today's shy face. 그냥 톱니바퀴예요. 맞아요. 정말 그래요. 그냥 톱니바퀴 같은 삶을 살고 있어요. 이 도시에서 저런 부품이 없어져도 그새 새로운 톱니바퀴를 찾아 갈아끼겠죠. 전 뭐일까요? 저의 존재 가치는 그 마음 이해한답니다. 도시 모두가 목적 없이 굴러다니는 톱니와도 같죠. 그곳 한복판에 있으면 마모되어 가는 거예요. 점차. 맞아요. 정말 그래요. 하지만 꼭 톱니 바퀴가 나쁜 것일까요? 네? 문제는 우리 스스로 톱니 바퀴가 아니라고 부정하는 거예요. 저도 그랬답니다. 아버지를 잃고 방황하던 때가 있었어요. 아버지도 톱니와도 같은 삶을 살아오셨거든요. 늘 같은 시간에 일어나서 같은 표정으로 그리고 같은 곳에 갔다가 음. 같은 시간에 돌아오고 아버지는 톱니에 대해 연구하시는 분이 바로 당신과 같은 문제를 해결하기 위해서였답니다. 한 가지 물건만 보게 되면 그 물체를 담는 걸까요? 일을 할수록 아버지의 이마에는 마치 톱니의 이 같은 주름이 깊어졌고 그렇게 아버지는 끝까지 도시에 녹이 낀 톱니인 채 누군가에게 살해당해 생을 마감하셨죠. 아, 그런... 저는 생각했답니다. 우리는 사실 도시의 톱니인데 우리의 존재를 부정했기 때문에 고통스러운 것 아닐까? 하지만 그런 삶에는 의미가 없잖아요. 목적 없이 숨만 쉬며 하루하루 굴러갈 뿐인 톱니라니. 그거랍니다. 목적 없는 톱니인 것이 문제랍니다. 톱니바퀴에도 목적이 있다는 것인가요? 예, 그럼요. 저마다 태어난 목적에 맞게 굴러가면 되는 거랍니다. Gear this, gear that. Sounds like a bunch of hogwash and a cash grab. 당신만이 될수 있는 톱니바퀴가 필요한 거예요. I say it's a cash grab because look at this. The gear she has behind her head is covered in blood. The blood on another one of these so-called gears in her uh, church. So is she really somebody who can be trusted with your faith to guide you? To help you save yourself from the uh, monotony of everyday life? No. If anything, this blood shows that she is not somebody to be trusted. Do you want to sit down? I'm the 
You know, it looks to me more like the chair will just freaking kill you. Hmm. Sounds really culty. 참고로 저희 아버지도 생각톱니랍니다. 그럼 당신 머리 뒤에 있는 톱니 바퀴가 아버지랍니다. 언제나 저에게 현명하게 살아가는 법을 가르쳐 주시죠. 무엇보다 고기 톱니 분들에게 생각 톱니는 꼭 필요한 존재입니다. 설마 제가 말 그대로 톱니가 되는 건가요? 아픔은 잠시예요. What the? I knew it. I freaking knew it. 여러분, 오늘 매우 귀하고 귀하신 생각 톱니 분이 새로 오셨습니다. 잠깐, 잠깐만. 이런 걸 저는 몰랐어요. 톱니가 굴러가듯. 삶이 돌아간다. 저 사람이 톱니 교단의 교주 에일린. Oh, these guys actually have guns. 생각 톱니는 또 처음 듣네. 지금 행해지는 것이 그 의식인가 보군. 톱니를 뒤통수에 꽂으면 똑똑해진다고 했던가? 아주 별 지랄을 다 해요. 자 어디 보자. 시 협회 유진 부장이 부탁했던 게 톱니 교단 신도 열명 사살 및 교주 무력화 후 확보. 시 옆에 이과의 유진 부장이 직접 우리 사무소에 일을 부탁하다니 무슨 일이라도 있는 건지 언제까지 저 광경을 보고 있어야 하는 거야? 아 지금 바로 쏴버리면 안 돼? 기다려. 아, 이 얼마나 아름다운 생각 톱니인가요? 이분은 특별히 저와 함께하도록 하겠습니다. 목적을 부여받은 톱니가 얼마나 행복한지. 아시게 될 거랍니다. 그래요. 처음은 조금만 굴러보는 거예요. 네. 다른 분들과 천천히 한 바퀴씩. 저희 아버지께서 분명 친절히 도와주실 거예요. 음, 아, 음. 그렇죠? 행복해지죠? 저도 굉장히 기쁘네요. Yeah, you just sound like you're psycho. 신도 여러분, 오늘도 길이든 톱니 한 분이 행복의 길을 가고 있습니다. 두팔 벌려 아버지께 감사를. 감사를. 네? 조심하라고요? 지금이야. Wait, how did she know they were shooting? 그렇죠? 무슨 일이죠? 이게 톱니들이 톱니 분들이. Uh, what? <laughs> そう、戦国トミラにげ、未知でし通行いっそ。未知けんね。単案が結構あるまんで。たまけ。トミが取らがぬペタンマンいるぐにゃん。可能。オッケー、ピンマジャッソ。ネガマムリアンダ。ロチ
나 당신이 필요한데 나와 같이 가줄 수 있겠어? 네 그럼요 저랑 톱니는 줄곧 당신을 기다린걸요 고마워 안돼 우선 저 친구들부터 플루토? 에일린을 돌봐주겠어? 도망쳐 뭐가 어떻게 된 거야? 푸른 잔향이 왜 여기 있는 건데? 나도 몰라 젠장 적구를 보아하니 우리를 죽이려 들겠군 이 일이 실패하면 돈을 벌기는커녕 탄원 값으로 다 날린다고 아까 봤잖아 푸른 잔향이 탄원을 튕겨내는 거 우리가 어떻게 해볼 수 있는 상대가 아니다 지금은 이대로 도망쳐서 목숨이라도 남겨야 해 One moment My apologies uh, Dog like vomited on the carpet or something My thought that he had gone pee And uh, I had to go clean it up 곧 입구야 안녕 친구들 대체 누가 이런 앙증맞은 의뢰를 한 걸까? 젠장 왼쪽으로 뛰어 아, 이렇게 느려서야 어디 써먹을 수나 있겠어? Is he just walking menacingly? 어디선가 너희를 구해줄 동아줄이라도 내려오지 않으려나? 총을 버려야 하나? 미쳤어? 이게 얼만데? 절대 못 버려. 언제까지고 숨어 있을 수는 없어. 리웨이, 이거 뭐야? 초대장? 이번에 하나에서 도시 질병으로 지정한 도서관인가 뭔가 하는 그거? 홍기종기 모여 있는 모습 보기 좋은 걸? 추위를 피해 모여 있는 귀여운 병아리들 같아. 푸른 자냥, 우리가 너의 일을 망쳤다면 여기서 본 것들, 있었던 일들 전부 잊을 테니 우리를 보내줄 수 있겠어? 뭐? <웃음> 그럼 누가 이 일을 맡긴 건지 말해줄 수 있어? 10초 줄게 9 몰라 리웨이 초대장 그걸로 어떻게든 해봐 유 누구 팬 있어? 서명해야 하는 어 팬이라면 침착하게 하라고 4 미친 새끼 빨리 다들 서명해 3. 자, 이제부터가 시작이겠지? 그럼 요! This cool this guy, he looks kind of metal. 푸른 잔향. 붉은 안개와 비슷한 이름이야. The blue reverberation sounds similar to the red mist. Wait, the red mist? 맞아. 둘다 하나 협회로부터 색을 부여받은 해결사야. 오. Oh. 일급 해결사 그 이상이지. 그렇게 대단한 해결사가 벌써 나타났다니 신기하네. 해결사 중에서 또라이가 많긴 하지만 그 중에서도 푸른 잔향은 특출난 또라이야. Certified lunatic. 꽤 유명한가 봐. 유명하지. 마탱이는 갔어도. 실력은 확실하거든. 오케이. Okay. 그러네. 총알도 다 막아내고. 그래서 다들 웬만하면 총을 안 쓰지. 한따까리 하는 놈들한테 총을 쓰기에는 한계가 있거든. 확실히 지금까지 방문한 손님들 대부분은 총기리를 사용하지 않았어. 비싸거든. 정말 비싸. 그래서 비효율적이고. 탄원 제작에 들어가는 비용이 꽤 드나 보네. 총도 총대로 비싸지만 저 불쌍한 녀석들 말대로 탄원 가격이 장난 아니야. 탄원 제작에 들어가는 비용이 꽤 드나 보네. 물론 그것도 있지. 하지만 제일 말도 안 되는 건 머리에서 총기류에 책정한 세금이야. 총의 종류마다 다르겠지만. 보통 탄창 두 개의 값과 쓸만한 총의 가격이 비슷해. 
사무소 단위로 쓸 탄환을 구비해 두는 것보다 사무소 전원에게 강화 시술을 해주는 게더 싸게 먹힐걸. 성능에 따른 효율로 보자면 말도 안 되는 거라고 자연스럽게 총과 탄환을 제작하는 공방도 찾아보기 힘들고 심지어 취득하기 까다롭다고 소문난 총기류 제작 면허를 받은 공방에서만 만들 수 있으니까 이유가 뭐라고 생각해? 내 짐작이지만 쉽게 죽일 수 없도록 하는 것 같아 무엇을? 사람을? 그런 배려가 있을 줄이야 아, 당연히 머리와 이 도시가 사람의 생명을 중요시한다는 건 아니야 사람이 사람을 시시하게 죽여선 안 된다는 철학? 뭐, 그런 것 같아? 웃기네 총이 아니더라도 사람을 죽이는 것은 얼마든지 시시할 수 있는데 뭐 그렇지 아, 여기까지 오지는 않네 I'm gonna have to fight him, aren't I? 누군가의 손바닥 위에 보기 좋게 늘어나고 있는 느낌이군. 푸른 전향은 모든 걸 아는 것 같았어. 당장 목숨이라도 부지한 게 다행이라고 생각할 수밖에. 아... 스테판, 너무 긴장하지 마. 어떻게 긴장을 안 하냐고? 기껏 도망쳐 온 것이 생판 모르는 도서관인데. 우리 탄환도 얼마 남지 않은 거 알지? 아, 여기서 죽든 아까 푸른 잔영한테 죽든 마찬가지야. 그럼 당연히 좀더 나중에 죽는 걸 선택해야지. 어차피 인간은 언젠가 다 죽는데 그냥 지금 죽자는 거랑 뭐가 달라? You know, that's the first smart thing y'all have said this entire cutscene. 그건... 또 맞는 말이네. 걱정 마. 내가 잘 해볼게. 환영합니다, 손님. 안녕하세요. 곧 죽어서 당신의 책이 될 예정인 스테판입니다. I mean, I know you. I mean, I mean, like you can accept death, but you don't have to be such a bummer about it. It can be fun to die. 이 손님은 기운이 없으시네요. 책이 될지 책을 얻으실지는 손님에게 달려 있답니다. 예, 예. 힘찬 응원 고맙습니다. 너 때문에 분위기 다 처지게 생겼잖아. 하, 신경 쓰지 않으셔도 됩니다. 저희가 지금 급하게 도망쳐 온 것이라서요. 저희는 볼 일만 보고 돌아가겠습니다. 이해합니다. 다양한 손님들이 각자의 사정을 안고 오는 것이니까요. 더 무례하신 분들도 계셨으니 걱정 마시길 바랍니다. 푸른 잔향이나 이 녀석이나 둘다 쌓은 건 마찬가지인 것 같은데 차라리 아까 깔끔하게 푸른 잔향에게 죽는 게 나았을 수도 있겠어 조잘조잘 앵무새 새끼도 아니고 얼른 들어가기나 해 성질 급하기는 부디 당신의 책을 찾으실 수 있기를 Yeah, this guy seems like a just a total wuss 2 power for the first scene. 30% chance to boost pierce damage by 1. Defensive dice gain plus 3 power for the first scene. Boost pierce. Concentration plus 1 power for the first scene. Alright, beyond the shadow. 3 to 7, 2 to 5, 2 to 5. Ah, that's actually a pretty decent dodge there. 3 to 7, full stop to life, feeble, bleed, feeble, single use. <laughs> okay, so they're gonna go through their light extremely quickly. They're gonna go through their light really quick, but they're also pretty strong. Let's see, I hate close quarters combat. Uh, let's see. 
single use. But it, it is about as strong as a two coster. Take the shot, single use. This <laughs> two coster is a single use. On Clash Lose, you add two power to the next die. All of his cards are single use. Return fire, single use. Take the shot, single use. Headshot, five to 12. Oh my God, that's really good. But it's also a single use card. Actually, oh, okay. So these could actually be really good for being able to reduce my deck size mid battle so that I can get off things like brawl with a uh, with a lot better uh, chance of success. Or, you know, I can get more daring decisions. I can I can use these to reduce my deck size mid battle so I have fewer cards, but it's a smaller selection of really freaking good cards. And I think that's a pretty smart thing. Let's go ahead. Melee page icon, more common type. All right. When a melee page clashes against a range page, its offensive dice cannot damage the ranged opponent immediately, even if it wins in a clash against their offensive die. However, the melee die will be retained upon winning a clash and moved to the end of the dice queue for reuse. Ranged plages will always be played before melee, regardless of speed. Less common combat pages that perform attacks at a distance. Even if the offensive die of a ranged page lose in a clash against the offensive die of a melee page, the ranged user will take no immediate damage. However, the opponent's melee die will be retained in this case and moved to the end of their dice queue for reuse. Okay, so we have, so, so, you know, that's interesting. That, that, like, it's really interesting. So it's just 2 to 6, 2 to 6. I could take... Uh, I... Hmm. Handling works is not a good idea to take. We'll go for the 2 to 4, 2 to 6, starting out lightly. Because this is a single use page. What do we got here? 2, 6, 2, 6, 1, 5. So we struggle for that. 4, 7, 4, 7, 3, 8. Hmm. I don't really have a good page for that. Uh, we'll take handling work for that. Let's go ahead and run that. Okay, interesting. Beyond the Shadow. I'll hit you up with Art of Rapid Steps. Return fire, it is a 1 to 8, does feeble on the next scene. I'm gonna hit you up with a, uh, with scratch that. Not another step. Um, I will still use your shield because it supposedly uh, reduces the damage I take. And then I'll throw in Destructive Impact.
Oh god, this gets really freaking hard. Alright, we gotta do pulsation, like, now. Take the shot. Target spotted. We want to take her out as fast as possible. She is the big damage. Um... Fuck it, I'll take it. I'll end you. I'm sorry, you're, you're gonna go down. Yeah, we gotta give Roland that. Uh, let's see. Retaliate? Yeah. Oh, by loosen up. Indiscriminate shots. One clash lose, add two power to the next die. I'll just let you take that. Actually, no. Actually, yes. Well. All right, fervent beats. Time to just kind of yolo it. There we go, there we go! <laughs> Fervent beats freaking carrying us. Fierce onslaught. Okay, that that's really badass. That's really badass. The animation of parrying this dude with just melee? It, that is so cool. It is so just insanely cool. Curtain call for the reception of full stop office. So it appears to me that what's going on here is guns are, um, they are a uh, double edged sword in this game. Because if you don't take, if you don't hit the shot, they get to. That means that there is a hit against you later that you can't defend. Stephanie라는 친구는 결국 책이 되었군. 저 정도로 마지막까지 세상을 탓하다니 오히려 안쓰럽네. 세상을 탓하는 것이 잘못이라고 생각해? 충분히 탓할 수 있지. 자신의 불행에 대한 책임을 세상에 떠넘기는 마음이 약해 보여서 안쓰럽다고 한건 아니야. 나도 그 세상에 사는 게 안타까워서 그렇지. 애써 세상을 탓하지 않으려는 내가 안쓰러워서. 난 세상을 저주해. 나도 그래. 야, yeah, that that's uh that was a really cool. <laughs> that was a really cool battle. Let's go ahead and burn some of these books. Book of Tamaki. Book of Stefan. I'm going to have to farm for Tamaki's page is to like Tamaki has uh like some really good freaking shit uh it's the fun book of Liyue and we have one book of full stop office uh I wish I had more but whatever whatever let's go ahead burn books we will probably get mostly the stuff we want Ooh, only got Tamaki's page. Interesting. Very, very interesting. You can only use ranged combat pages. Alright, let's see. Indiscriminate shots. Nice. Bullseye. Nice. 
This is basically a one-shot kill from a lot of the enemies I've come across, as long as they're staggered. It, this is just insanely powerful. Return fire is okay. I hate CQC, fuck yeah. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, we got Beyond the Shadow. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah, full stop to laugh, fuck yeah. Let's see, what else do we have? Any, any more of the good shit? Not really. We do have, we did get uh, a couple, a, uh, a headshot. Oh, we got, we got, a, we got a bunch of headshots. But yeah, we, we got, uh, we, we got, we got what we wanted out of this. That said, uh, <laughs> this is a 41 minute long video by now. Oh, wait, why is my tongue stuck out? I don't know what's going on there. It looks kind of lewd, mildly lewd, but I mean, I can't stop it. But uh, that said, that said, uh, much love and stay sexy. I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Library of Ruina as much as I enjoyed making it. Stop by uh, after this video if you want to see me streaming more Lobotomy Corporation. And uh, shoot, just have a wonderful day, guys. Bye-bye!